Hi, my name is Juan Pablo. I'm part of the technology support team as well as the equipment team here at Health Plan One. By now, you should have already received your single box bundle with all the equipment that you'll need for day one. If you have not, please email us at equipment at hp1.com and we'll be more than happy to assist you. Now, in front of your box, you'll see a yellow sticker with four sets of number. If for any reason, any of the following items that you'll be seeing throughout this video are not in your box, please email us with these four digits so that way we can take a look at what happened. Now let's begin. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open your box and we're gonna take out the five items in here. Starting with number one, in a clear bag, you should have received an HDMI to display port cable as well as a webcam. You should have also received a headset, a micro tower box with all the peripheral needed outside of the webcam and the HDMI to DP uh, cable. And finally, two monitors. For the sake of this video, I'm only gonna take one out so that way I can show you how to connect it and afterwards, uh, it'll be easier to, to follow along with the secondary, okay? We're gonna go ahead and begin with your micro tower box. Let's go ahead and open it and take out the, the items inside. First thing you should be receiving is a keyboard. Next thing will be the actual tower. And just keep in mind the tower does have a silver sticker. If for any reason you need to reach out to IT support, you can always use this silver sticker to let us know what equipment you're having issues with. And finally, you'll have one more box and this box will contain your power cord, your mouse, as well as your antenna all inside neatly wrapped, okay? Now then, inside this clear bag, you'll have an HDMI to display port cable as well as a webcam. No worries, hopefully I will have added some a few images to help differentiate between the two cables. Now, let's move on to the monitor. Your monitor will come in its an original package. Inside the box, you're gonna have a few different parts to it. And we'll go ahead and connect all the parts so that way we know what we're working with. You have an HDMI cable, the power cord to your monitor, and finally, you'll have the neck and the base to the stand of the monitor. In order to connect the neck and the stand, all you gotta do is click it in. it out this will go to the actual monitor this will go to the base as you can see just a quick slap and we're good to go let's go ahead and take out the monitor there's a few things that I will like for you to be, pay close attention when you receive your monitor please make sure to turn on your monitor as soon as you receive it so that way we can We'll know if it's broken or if it, there's any damages during transport. That way we can go ahead and, and get that fixed for you. In order to connect your base, your I mean your stand to the monitor, you simply need to slide it into this section right here. And you'll hear an audible click once it's actually connected. There we go. And you're good to go. All right, to connect your micro tower, we first need to take it out. And now allow me to explain a few different things on the tower. First off, right here is gonna be your connection for your power, followed by the DisplayPort link, a USB, HDMI, three more USB, ethernet, and your antenna. Let's go ahead and start with your HDMI. You're gonna take one of these cables, going to have both sides being HDMI and you're just going to connect one side to the tower with the other side going to the monitor. We're going to take the display port and HDMI connection. This one is going to have two different uh, endings. We're going to connect the display port which is the one that is slanted to the tower 
follow with the other one going to the secondary monitor. Your power brick will have a yellow tip on it. This is gonna go to the far end with all the other peripherals such as your webcams, your uh, web camera, your headset, your mouse and keyboard going to the USB slots. And finally, your antenna. Your antenna, you're just going to screw it right in and you're all set. Once you have the monitor connected and all your miscellaneous cables connected to the tower, you're good to go. You can go ahead and turn it on. If you have any other issues or any questions, please email us at equipment at hp1.com and we'll be more than happy to assist you.